Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. Uh, today's video is a haul from Ulta and also some um, LA Girl cosmetics that I found at a Walmart here in London. Uh, now the one Walmart closest to us doesn't have LA Girl but the other Walmart um, has the whole line of LA Girl cosmetics. So if you're Canadian and you're looking for um, LA Girl, some Walmarts do carry that line. And also you can find LA Girl at Miniso, the um, Asian um, store, and I think orabelle.ca, which I'll link below. Uh, they sell LA Girl cosmetics also. So I will start with my Ulta haul and um, they had a sale on the Tree Hut scrubs which I really really like. It was buy one get one 50% off and here in Canada Walmart sells about four different scents. Um, my favorite has to be almond honey. I just that's my favorite scent and what I like about these scrubs is um, they're somewhat coarse so they do a good job exfoliating uh, they leave your skin very soft and moisturized, but they don't leave that really kind of sticky, oily, greasy kind of heavy feel. Um, they clean, they rinse off quite nicely, and they have the most wonderful fragrances. So um, I'll I'll do the uh, Tree Hut scrubs first. So like I said, it's buy one get one 50% off. So I bought six of them, and uh, just go one at a time here. So the first one is called, and th this is my first time smelling these, so this is kind of my first impression. This is called Sun Kissed Sands, and this is white clay, smooths and purifies the skin. So Sun Kissed Sands. Woo! And these are like big jars too. Um, I think they were about $10 Canadian. Um, and then the second one was five dollars. So this is uh, 18 ounces or 510 grams. So you get quite a bit. Oh, that's yummy. Oh, it smells like uh, it smells like the beach, like a perfume, perfumey, beachy kind of scent. Oh, that one's nice. Yeah, I, ha I have yet to m meet a tree hut scrub that I didn't like the smell on. And then uh, the next one is. Coca Colada, and this one is made with shea butter, pineapple, and coconut. That's what that one looks like. Mmm, yeah, that's definitely coconut and pineapple, but it's not overly sweet. It's just a, it's a very earthy kind of pineapple and coconut. That'd be great for the summer. And then the next one is Belize Breeze. And this one is shea butter, avocado, and coconut. So that's Belize Breeze. I love the colors. Woohoo! Woohoo! So some of these have fine granules, others have little coarser granules. Oh, that was a that was a little harder to smell. Yeah, that one doesn't have a lot of smell to it, actually. There's a little bit of coconut. It is kind of light and airy and refreshing, but that one's a little bit light. Oh, but what a beautiful blue color. So maybe when the in the hot shower there, the uh, scent will come out a little bit more. And this one, oh, this one sounds good. This is Matcha Mojito. Oh, again, the, the wax is so pretty. And this one is Shea Butter Green Tea Mint and Lime Extracts. Oh, this one's going to be so nice for the summer. Woohoo! Don't want to get it everywhere. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's just so bright. Oh. I can smell the mint and the lime. Oh yeah, that one's really, really nice. And then there is... Oh, I've been eyeing this for a while. This is the Lemon Blueberry Tart. Oh, it sounds like such a good combination. Oh no, this is the only one that has this little plastic on it. 
Woohoo! Yeah, this one's a bit lighter, like the Lee's Breeze. Oh, this is a mess. Oh, I can smell the blueberry. A little bit of the lemon, but it's uh, it's certainly kind of tamed down. It's not overly strong, but it has kind of an earthiness to it rather than a brightness to it. And then the last one is Bohemian Escape. This is turmeric, actually, which exfoliates and tones the skin. Yeah, this one is just it's turmeric. Um, now, I know when you eat turmeric, it's like an anti-inflammatory, whether it works um, on your skin that way, I'm not sure. Oh, this one's nice. This one has a kind of a fruity scent. I thought it'd be uh, more of a spicy scent. Oh, but it's yummy. Kind of a nice fruity scent to it. And the, and the color is just so oh, nice. So those are my six scrubs. You think I'd be scrubbing a herd of elephants here, but um, anyway, that's going to last me quite a while. And then also, I um, from Ulta, uh, I did purchase a Makeup Revolution uh, concealer, and I have the color C4, which works quite well because it has kind of a rosy undertone. But this is a super size one. Um, I think the original was 10 grams, and this one is. Well, it says 13 grams, so it's, it's a little bit more, um, but I'm almost done my other one. And this one, um, it doesn't crease or cake under my eyes. It brightens it up. Um, uh, you can also get Makeup Revolution on orabelle.ca, uh, which I'll link below. And uh, there's somewhere else. I just can't think now. But anyway, I did get the super size one because I'm um, out of my other one. I did get the Wet n Wild, um, what's it called, Ultimate Brow Highlighter. Now I don't use it to highlight my brow. I got this tip from Emily Noel, her channel. And what she does is um, she lines the inner rim of her lower lid uh, to brighten up the eye. So when I'm really, really tired, um, I do have one of these. Um, I think it's about halfway finished though but when I'm really tired uh, which is most of the time uh, I just take this pencil and I run it on the inside of my uh, lower um, uh, water line I guess is what I'm trying to say and it really it really does brighten things up it, it just perks things up lightens up the area so yeah I thought um, while I was ordering I might as well get another one because I cannot find this in um, any of the stores here in Canada anymore. Um, it used to, I, I did get my original one here, but uh, I can't find it anymore. So I thought I might as well pick one up while I'm at it. And this is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And everyone's been um, comparing this to the Tatcha Poreless Concealer, whatever. I do have the Catrice one, which I really do like, and you can order that off um, Shoppers, um, Walmart, any Catrice products, and I, I really like that one. It just kind of blurs the uh, pores, just smooth, uh, smooth things out, just kind of that airbrush look. So, but everyone's been raving about this, so I thought, oh, what the heck, let's try it. So, um, it, it certainly is smooth. It feels kind of moisturizing too, but yeah, I'm going to have to try this. I know L'Oreal has something similar to, the, to, the, to this, but it's much more moussey, and I really actually really do like the L'Oreal one. Um, I definitely get it on sale, though it's much more expensive, but um, I thought, you know what, let's, tr let's give her a try. And uh, now before I get to the LA Girl, um, I went to Winners or Marshalls, and I've been eyeing this online for the longest time and I've heard really, really good reviews about this and it's the Makeup Revolution Blush Palette. And this specific one is in Sugar and Spice and I, I just love the colors on this. This was just $7.99 and you get eight different blushes. You get a big mirror with it, so it's an excellent price. And then I just absolutely love the colors in this palette. It's perfect for travel because you get um, like neutral tones, you get a bit of a highlighter, you get a sheeny blush. Um, the rest of these are matte. You get corals, you get peaches, you get roses, you just get all sorts of um, different colors. Um, 
I don't know if it'll show up so well in this lighting. This one's really, really nice. It's just this gorgeous dark rose. You can see how pigmented they are. And this is a highlighter. Oh, they call it a blush, but it's a highlighter. And um, now these neutral ones, I don't know how well they'll show up, but um, they may not show up, but if you have um, light skin, it does. Oh, it showed up pretty good. So I really like those neutral types. But yeah, $8 for eight blushes, and I'm glad I finally it finally showed up in the stores because I was going to order it online at some point. So an um, LA Girl. Uh, so yeah, they had a huge display there. Um, now I've heard a lot of things about these LA Girl Shady Slim Eyebrow Pencils. Uh, you're going to focus there. So I did get blonde and I got taupe because I wasn't really sure what color. A lot of people just absolutely rave about these. They say it's better than the Anastasia eyebrow pencil. I don't use that one. I neglect my eyebrows. I, I forget they're there half the time. So I really need to pay more attention to them. But uh, they do have those here now. And I've heard really good things about their blushes. And I think these were like... Um, seven or eight dollars. I think the eyebrow pencils were like around the same um, price. Now I've heard really good things about this color, Just Playful. And it's a very neutral, kind of a brownie rose color. Uh, so I don't know how well it'll show up, but it is just that perfect kind of neutral. Just enough to add color to your cheeks, but not look too obvious but it's a really really nice color i'll know i'll be grabbing that color a lot and this is just rosy now this one's more it has some coral in it too now this one's matte and this one's um more of a shimmer so there is different formulas this one is so pretty that is so nice yeah, I definitely get it. It's pink, but there's a hint of coral in there, too. So, yeah, so glad I could try those. And then uh, so they had, I don't know how many different formulas of lipstick and that gloss and that sort of thing. I think they were like $4.99. So I did pick up this LA Girl Matte Flat Velvet Lipstick, and this is in the color... Uh, oh, Hot Stuff. And I just really, they have the color at the bottom, which is nice. And it's so pretty. It's, it's a pinky coral, which is being really nice for the summer. So that's it on the bottom. And it goes on so smooth and so opaque, creamy. It says matte, so I'd have to try to see if it actually dries down matte. But that is so pretty for the summer. And then this is their matte flat finish pigment gloss. So I don't know how you have a matte gloss, but we'll we'll see. And this one is in the color Frisky. And that's how I'm feeling after the Raptors won the championship. Oh, that's pretty. That is like a, that's definitely kind of a dark, rich pink color. So I guess. Um, and then they had these two glazed lip paints. And again, they were about $5, I think. So this one is blushing. Oh, so this is a little squeezy tube. Whoa, oh, jeepers. Oh, man. Holy moly. Okay. A little goes a long way. Whoa, that would cover about... 10 lips there but that's frisky holy moly wow <laughs> wasn't quite expecting that and this one is gleam and this is kind of a this would be nice for the fall it's kind of an orangey rust kind of color but it's not as opaque so yeah that's it for the la girls so LA Girl Cosmetics. So they have foundations and um, eye palettes, the whole the whole line. And then um, now up at our Walmart, the closest one to me, they do have Milani products.
but they didn't have the Conceal and Perfect concealer, but this other Walmart did carry it, which is kind of odd. So I did get the color 110 Nude Ivory, and I've heard very good things about this concealer, that it's um, it doesn't cake or crease or anything like that. So, um, oop. well, that's a really good color for me too. It's got a little bit of a rosy color to it. So yeah, looking forward to trying that out. So I'm going to have to clean this top off. I didn't think that really came out fast and holy moly a lot. So anyhow, um, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed. So yeah, if you're Canadian, look in your Walmart. Some of them have the LA Girl cosmetics now. And yes, Ulta's coming to Canada. That's kind of exciting. So um, yeah, looking forward to that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed and everyone take care and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.